Yeah, we get the mic on today. Mainly because I don't think it'd come out worth a darn if I didn't. So as you can see, I actually moved the ambulance back around. I got some work done on the back of it, and I'm ready to work on this and focus more on this. So I flipped it around here so I can see the, the nice part. So I'm really looking forward to working on the inside and be done with the outside. This I got this up last night. I ran out of time and sanding material to work on any farther, but it needs to be finessed and cleaned up. So we got the outside piece on. We got some of it. It just needs to be more finesse, more welding, more grinding, all that fun jazz. Same thing on this side. This one's been up for about a week now. It's doing great, actually. And I got more work. I tried to... I got these filled in on this side. They're all filled in. They need a little bit more finesse. And I tried to take this one closed. It needs to be cleaned and finesse but that one's okay it's not watertight yet and I'll do the same thing with this one here clean it up you won't even tell there's holes there part of the reason I like TIG that thing needs to be adjusted too anyhow other than having to get the front area here done which I do plan on getting done soon um, I think I have a good design in mind I think today I'm going to come in here cut these supports out here um, widen this one out a little bit here so I'm with I think that's what I'm going to do I might come in and drop supports back in it but we'll see but I'm leaning towards this cutting and making it a little bit wider yeah somehow get up there and lay down and make sure there's enough room because I don't think I have enough headroom to lay down if I don't Otherwise, I'll be head-to-head -head type thing, and I don't want that the whole point of building this, so I have extra room in the bedroom and this life in general. And what you might ask, you're doing in the bedroom that you need more room? Well, sometimes it's nice to lay in bed and watch a movie and other things and sit up top. And I plan on putting the access for the stars up there, too. Somewhere in here, I'll be in here. Depends on how I tie everything in. Yeah, depending on how everything gets tied in. It's gonna look like a box in a box in a box. The best way I can describe it right now. You'll see. Anyhow, I woke this uh, this morning and the cat was sitting right here on top of the top thing there. And I was like, oh, there's a cat up there. And then the next thing I looked out, it was inside the cab. So, kitty cats are getting around. I'm also, since I had the black tank in here, which I gotta get some bulkheads for vents and some various other things for the tanks. I gotta do the insulation, I'm ready. I have the floor insulation, all I need to do is buy the supports to support the tanks. And I'm probably just gonna use two by fours running across with a, a kills paint across it, and that'll give me the support I need to sub for. All right. So the, su the subfloor support and have that and then I'm going to get some, I think I'm going to use some of that 1x2 aluminum and run across the top and that will be my my side to side support kind of thing and I'll drop two little things in there in the middle to give it and I can drop more later on. Uh, I also need to pull this off. I have a battery in here. No, I don't have a battery. I'll have to get me a battery. Pull this off and if you look down here. Pull that off, cut a hole in it, and that will be my tank access for my uh, gas tank in here. And then the, the, the actual water tank and gray tank will give me space right there for whatever I need to, to access. I have a little storage on either side there. And then in front of the tanks, which would be about right here. And you guys do have to look down if you guys don't know my videos. You guys got to interact with me. But, um... Right here, I'm planning on leaving this all open, and I want to have, I think I'm going to have my sink right here, and I'll have a, a place where I can open the floor so I get an extra foot out of my seat, sink height, and if I have someone of normal height in here, we can put the floor down, and it's perfect. So it gives me both high sink and low sink without moving the sink. And then up here, right behind the driver's cab area, this is where my batteries are going to sit. And then over here is going to be probably my wall panel for my uh, inverter and everything. 
I don't mind the batteries being down there, but I want my electrical, high dollar electrical setup kind of higher up. I've had tanks leak before, and I don't want it down here with the batteries. So that stuff will probably be put somewhere behind the driver's seat up in this compartment here. Uh, I'm kind of going through a, a, a decision on the change. Because ideally I want a little overlap on the supports for that hanging out and I don't want it overhanging it too far. So I'm torn between 4 foot 6 inches and 5 feet overhang on that. Uh, I'll decide here in a bit and then I'm going to tie it into the frame here, here, here and here. Then I'll have my lateral supports just like this and then I'll go up, create a, uh, go up, create a little over do two foot and then another 45 here so it comes straight up 45 45 go a little higher than that I might I might just drop down or I might just come straight in on the top there it depends on how much welding I want to do which is not really that much so uh, I'll do stuff just for the look of the vehicle so there's that and once I have that done that will allow my me have a nice long tie-in to the main frame here the main frame but the original frame I want to have a nice long well it's one of the biggest th biggest things about if you're gonna have a high torque surface so because I'm gonna have overhang and it's not going to be supported by the top of the cab there it'll be supported by this section and this section and the side walls it uh, I'm, I'm guesstimating Figuring on about five to six hundred pounds weight overhang by the time you get possibly two people in there, one person, two people, who knows, uh, a bed plus sheeting, and they say your bed gains at least doubles weight in this lifetime. So I'll have a foam bed. So anywhere from six hundred to a um, thousand pounds uh, support weight. That's what I need. But because I don't know where the weight's going to be, probably six hundred. 300 pounds at the very end and closer up you got to consider your, your foot pounds of torques that's put on a joint so if I had five feet long times what is it 300 uh, yeah 300 this is like 3500 pounds foot pounds of torque and if I only weld a section of that long it's just not strong enough well, it could be strong enough, but I don't feel like it'd be strong enough to handle the torque load that's going on it. And I don't want that, so the biggest way to get a better torque load adjustment is to spread your, your load out. So I could have a 2 inch here. See, I can have a 2 inch up here only on, and if I have a 2 inch out here, this one back here, because of the way the torque is going, is actually going to have more holding strength than that one. Even though they're the same thickness, well, they'll hold have more foot pound of torque straight so if that makes any sense whatsoever so I'm going to tie it into the back of the, the either of these doors right before the outside so I get more solidness um, part of my intimidation factor of working on this I've been researching stuff in the background and trying to figure out the best way to run it and get it where it can handle the torque load. I don't want to have any repairs on it out of the road. And I'll do some shakedown towards their drives around here. Um, so let's see. I'll show you this. This unlocked. I gotta pull the, the spare tire out of there because this is no longer gonna be a spare tire compartment. The new tire I got when we was up north. But um, so somewhere right in here, that gray tank's gonna come out. Or the gray, it's it's black color, but it's gray water. Now I'm gonna have a stand on three inch connection. A way to regular hook it up, just leave it hooked up, pull it out, open, dump it, close it, throw it back in the compartment. And I'll probably divide that section off isolated from the rest of the compartment because they have all this other room. And I'm thinking I'm going to put my hot water with Basco hot water uh, diesel hot water heater in here along with all the other component components in here. So this compartment will be warm and then I can route everything from here. Actually this is the first time I've opened up. I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to do with this space. I'd also like to put a... Uh, 
freshwater feel uh, reel in here. That would be nice too. So I have the hot water area and everything kept warm for those wintertime environments when you get somewhere and it starts freezing. So I have everything in there. And if I do that, basically I just pull up to any RV dump, open that up, get my fuel, get the water. And then I kind of like to have my electrical separate. So I'm toying with the idea of putting the electrical uh, hose reel or electrical line in here on a reel so you can pull it out and plug it in when I'm in a park. Also get me access to the electrical to work on here. Now I'll probably have a small portion of it and probably something here. Uh, somewhere I'm going to put a clothes hamper. So that's always nice. I shorted out my uh, hot cable the other day when I was welding in here. It's quite scary. This compartment's gonna be, well, I was gonna put the, this uh, back tire on the back, or the spare tire on the back, so I have entire access. Let's see. This will probably be tool storage and other stuff storage, but that whole thing's whatever I want, even toy storage. And there's the two tool storage. So that's going to be open space just for use for whatever I want to use it for. I may even create access and put some of my groceries in there. Now, let's see. That's all taken care of on that side. This side. Well, all these are locked. I wonder why. Anyhow, this one's open. This one I was hoping to leave in there. Um, I'll probably pull out this middle thing here. I was hoping to put maybe a table in here for some outside cooking and any outside to toys I want, kind of um, paddle board and such. So this one's probably going to get cut down a little lower, but for the most part it's going to stay the same. This one right here is perfectly sized for propane. Um, I will probably put propane in it. I'm also pretty sure they had a camera on here at one point. Um, that, uh, I'll put a propane tank in there and keep it in there for um, various things. Also, I was going to put the composting toilet back in there in the tub. So I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do with that space a little bit later on. Um, the biggest thing is figuring out if we're going to cut it out or not cut it out. I've kind of been getting ahead of myself ordering stuff during this cold, cold weather. I to say my welding's getting so much better, so much better, but uh, I need some more grinding disc and sand disc for that thing, but that thing. Anyhow, these are the welds I did the other day. I saved a lot of uh, welding on this because those I was welding completely closed. These aren't so critical or important. Man, that's dirty right there. I'll show you the clean side. Oh, here, I'll show you the dirty side too. Uh, clean side here. Welds are getting better. I just decided to go with a doubler joint instead of welding up each one of these cuts. If I just do a doubler joint, it should give it. And these aren't so critical, but I'll probably do the same thing on the other one too. Oh man, those are nice and shiny welds. Got my gas flow right and everything else. Look at that. Got the heat up. Yeah, I'm happy with my welds. I wish there's a little, they penetrate a little bit more into the base metal, but they're okay. But that should hold it just fine. And those are more just for supports whenever I bend that uh, metal over the front part of it. But, you know, today I'm going to work on that top. I think I'm going to take a piece of this 2x2 two two square and cut it in half into two 10-foot sections and then build off my, uh, well, figure out where I want everything and leave me about maybe two or three feet long, build with 45, go two feet, build another 45, and then go back. So... And then I can start attaching it. And that curb piece here, you can see. The curb piece here I welded on the other night, and it's a nice, good weld, square edges. And I'll do the same thing with the other one, and then add supports in there as I go. But I really kind of want the 245s to be one solid piece, so that's what we're going to do there. 
All right, well, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bring you back up and update.